हेलो स्टूडेंट्स वेलकम एवरीवन वेलकम टू योर फेवरेट चैनल वेदांतु एनसीईआरटी सॉल्यूशन वेयर यू विल गेट अ डिटेल्ड सॉल्यूशन ऑफ ईच एंड एवरी क्वेश्चन ऑफ योर एनसीईआरटी एंड यू विल लर्न ऑल दिस क्वेश्चंस इजीली सो दैट यू कैन स्कोर मोर इन योर एग्जामिनेशन सो लेट अस ट्राई टू सॉल्व द सेकंड क्वेश्चन ऑफ योर एक्सरसाइज 1.2 ऑफ द चैप्टर रिलेशन एंड फंक्शंस let us try to read the question first they are asking us to check injectivity and surjectivity of the following function as i told you if you want to check whether the given function is injective injective is nothing but children if you can check whether the given function is 1 1 and that is nothing but injective if it is 1 1 then we call the function as injective right we have seen in the first question also so if you can write the given function is on to then you call it surjective so always remember One one injective onto surjective. So we will check whether the given function is one one and onto here. Just observe the first question and all the question. Most of the questions are similar. Only thing the domain and co-domain keeps changing here. That we need to be very very careful. First sub question. They are telling us the function domain and co-domain is set of natural numbers. Yes, set of natural numbers and the function f of x is defined as x. Square or x to the power two. Now observe this, children. If you're taking any value, any set, any natural numbers, you square it. You get a unique value in the codomain. Do you agree? One, one square is one. Two square is four. Three square is nine. It goes like that. Yes. And for every value of your natural number, do you have the root unit to check? So let us first focus on one one. You will observe that for every for every a which belongs to n yes f of x 1 if you take and f of x 2 if you take if you equate them children right to understand this if you are equating f of n is equal to f of x 1 is equal to x 2 it becomes x 1 square is equal to x 2 square then there are no two x 1 and x 2 for which the square of them will be equal so it is nothing but x 1 equal to x 2 which is nothing but x so hence it is One one function children, it is one one correct because we are talking about set of natural numbers here. Natural numbers are counting numbers, yes. So it is one one function. So we can write it is injective, right? It is a one one function, yes. Now let us check for onto. Now you can observe here when I am talking about onto as I told you before. Does every natural number in the codomain does it have a root in the domain? No. You can see for. Two, which belongs to n, there is no value of f of x for which you get two. Yes, do we get two anywhere? No. Suppose like x square equal to two. If you are substituting children, x will be four. Correct. But there is no value for which root of two exists. in your set of natural numbers correct root of 2 does not exist so what you can write it is not on 2 yes or no it is not on 2 so here you can clearly write f of x is injective but not surjective so what you can write for this question children f is injective yes f is injective but not surjective yes i think the first sub question is very clear for all my children yes see children if you are able to understand these questions like share and subscribe share it with your friends so that even they can understand and solve these questions easily let us go for second sub question now observe here it is from set of integers to integers right they are talking about the function f of x defined under the domain and the codomain belongs to the set of integers now tell me under the set of integers when you are writing children just observe and tell me under the set of integers when you are considering do you get all the negative and positive numbers yes so in that case when you are checking for the function f of x where f of x is equal to x square okay f of x is equal to x square what happens here if i am taking x equal to minus 1 so minus 1 square is equal to 1 and 1 square is equal to 1 true children is minus 1 and plus 1 equal no they not equal hence what you can write it is not a one one function hence it is not one one correct no 
Um, not only I've just taken the generalized case. If you take the other cases, minus two, minus two square is four. Two square is also four. For there is two value in the domain for which you have a same value in the co-domain. That means it is not one one. Check for on two children. Is it on two? Just observe here very carefully. Can we call this relation on two? If you observe this very carefully, for because set of integers that is for domain as well as co-domain what they have given here. Correct. So for x square equal to minus two, there is no value in the co-domain or in the domain. I can say correct. For x square is equal to minus two, there is no value in the domain. Hence, what you can call children? Hence, it is not onto, not onto. And observe here. Here we can write it is neither one one, neither one one, nor onto. This relation is neither one one. Nor on to. I hope this is clear for all of you. So second sub question we have easily solved. Neither one one nor on to it is. Now third one, it is the domain is also set of R. They told R when we are talking about R. What is R children set of? Do we call it set of real numbers? Yes. Here it is set of real numbers. Correct. Under the set of real numbers, tell me what are the real numbers? What you are considering? Can we consider here also the same case? Your minus one and plus one. When you square it, minus one square is one. One square is also one. Correct, children. So in that case, what happens? You can write just like how we have written the previous question for the third one, where the set is R to R. That is, the function is from the set of real numbers to set of real numbers for x equal to one, f of x is equal to one, and for x is equal to minus one, f of x is also equal to one. Correct, children. When x is minus one, also it's the same. So, but minus one is not equal to one. No. Hence, what you write, it is not injective here. Also, is that true, children? It is not injective, right? Now, once you prove it is not injective, then what are we supposed to do? Tell me. Are we checking for surjective? Is it surjective? You can notice minus one belongs to the set of real numbers, but same like how we did before. See, other than natural numbers, whenever you get the examples, what you take will be similar because as soon as there is negative numbers in the set, you know that root of negative numbers does not exist. It does not belong to the codomain because it comes under the concept of complex number. Correct. So minus two belongs to R, but there is. No value in domain for which f of x is equal to minus two. Hence, not surjective. It is not surjective. Yes, children, understanding this easy and simple. So you can notice it is neither injective nor surjective. This was your. Sub question three. Now, sub question four and five. Try to observe it very carefully. Here it is x to the power of three, or we call it x cube. What do we do in such cases? Just try to understand this, children. In this case, it is set of natural numbers to set of natural numbers, and your function is f of x is equal to x cube. Now, for every value of x in the domain, that is for Every x belongs to n. F of x one. If it is equated to f of x two, you know that x one cube will be equal to x two cube. If that has to be true, then only way possible is x one should be equal to x two. So we are talking about same value x. So what you write? It is one one function. Yes, children. It is one one function. But try to understand about on two condition when we are checking. Now. For every x, for every x which belongs to n set of natural numbers, you know three also belongs to that. But do you have cube root of three under the set of natural numbers? No, correct. So for every x belongs to n, three belongs to n. I can write, but 
when f of x is equal to 3 that value does not belong to the domain right children so you can write there is no value of x for which f of x is equal to 3 hence not on to or you can write this is f of x is injective f of x is injective but not but not surjective right children yes another easy and simple question we have done with the next sub question also now only we are left with the next one where it is for the set of integers now tell me when it comes to the set of integers what happens children simple and easy you tell me what happens is it surjective as we know x cube we are talking about x cube here for every value what you take children for every value this function is from z to z yes so if you're checking for 1 1 just observe here if you're checking for 1 1 f of x 1 whatever value you take and f of x 2 whatever value if you take if they are equal then obviously x 1 cube should be equal to x 2 cube only under the condition that x1 should be equal to x2 yes or no set of integers that's the reason so you can write f is injective directly yes or no children f is injective once you know f is injective then let us check for onto condition or surjective condition now if you notice your set z also includes some elements set of integers where cube root cannot be determined for example if x cube is equal to 2 do you have a value in your domain for which cube root of 2 belongs to no so you can write when x cube is equal to 2 there is no value of x which is satisfying x which belongs to z where x cube is equal to 2 hence what you write not Surjective. Easily you can write children. Not surjective. So this function is injective but not surjective. Is that clear? So under the domain z you don't have a value of x for which x cube is equal to 2. That is the reason we are writing not surjective. So we have solved all the conditions correct. The first one was injective but not surjective. The second case what we wrote there also it was injective but not surjective correct. And the third case where we write, second case was neither injective nor subjective, third case also neither injective nor subjective, fourth case we got it as the function is injective but not surjective, the third, fifth case it is injective but not surjective. Is it easy children? And see children whenever you get 1, 1 and on 2 questions, these examples if you remember, it becomes very easy to, for you to remember and solve all these questions. I hope you have understood this. Like, share and subscribe, share it with your friends and follow NCRT solutions channel from Vedanto so that you can get details of all the solutions of these questions easily and you can score more in your examination. Thank you students.